In this video, I will teach you how to correctly do a breathing technique that will help you lower your heart rate and blood pressure in minutes. Plus, stay with me until the end of this video because I will teach you the three symptoms that you should not take for granted if you have hypertension. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would like to personally welcome you to please join our growing community where you will receive weekly health videos on a weekend that will surely benefit our beloved seniors, you, and the people you love. Majority of our seniors and adults have hypertension. Plus, we can never deny the amount of stress that we are all into right now. If you are stressed out, your body produces hormones that allows your blood vessels to narrow and your heart to beat faster, giving you a higher BP reading. Normal blood pressure should be lower than 120 over 80. Beyond that, we are considering hypertension, and a blood pressure reading of 90 over 60 is considered to be hypotensive or low blood pressure. Whenever you are in a stressful situation, whenever you feel that you have heart palpitations and you feel that your BP is high, do this technique. This is safe, effective, and a practical way to lower your heart rate and blood pressure. But this should in no way replace any existing antihypertensive medications that you have. This breathing technique is what we call as the pragmatic breathing exercise. And I also recommend this to patients who are suffering from COPD, pneumonia, and even during a bout of anxiety attack. So next time when you are in a stressful situation, I want you to try to relax and compose yourself. You can sit down or another option is for you to lie down with your head slightly elevated so that this way gravity helps with the diaphragm to function better. You loosen any tight clothing that you have and then using your one hand, you place this above your chest while the other hand you place in your tummy. The reason and the rationale for this is for you to do a self-check or for you to assess if whether or not you are doing this breathing exercise correctly. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose. Mentally count and hold it for five seconds. Exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this 10 times. If you are doing this correctly, you will feel a slight rise in your tummy when you inhale and a slight fall in your tummy when you exhale. Although your diaphragm is considered as the main muscle of inspiration, other accessory muscles of breathing can be used and these can be observed if you have more movement in your chest area than in your tummy area. We need to make sure that we are using our diaphragm when we are doing this breathing exercise because the nerve that controls your diaphragm is linked to your vagus nerve. The nerve that causes your body to relax, your heart rate to slow down, and your blood pressure to decrease. This is a natural, effective, and practical way of lowering your heart rate and your blood pressure. Before we proceed to the three symptoms that you should take note of if you have hypertension, I would really appreciate it if you can take one second of your time to please click the like button below if you find this video helpful so far. Now, if you have hypertension, 
I would like to teach you an acronym that you need to know and you really need to remember. This is the acronym FAST. Always be mindful that if you have these three symptoms, you should not waste your time in trying to lower down your BP, but instead ask a family member to bring you to the nearest ER or hospital. F stands for facial drooping. If you notice that there is a symmetry, especially in the lower quadrant of the mouth when you smile, A stands for arm weakness. If you find it hard to raise one arm, if you find it difficult to hold or grasp certain objects, and S stands for speech difficulty. If you find it difficult to utter words or utter sounds, or if you find that a particular family member cannot follow simple sentence, call the ER and bring that family member to the hospital immediately. And lastly, T. T stands for time. Time is of essence if you feel these three symptoms. It can make a whole world of difference for you and your family if you receive proper treatment during the first one hour that you feel these three symptoms. The diaphragmatic breathing exercise is a safe, effective, natural, and practical way to lower your heart rate and your blood pressure. Plus, I have taught you in this video the acronym FAST, which stands for the three symptoms that you should be mindful of if you have hypertension. Please share this video to your friends and family members who are battling with hypertension because now more than ever, we need to be proactive about our health. Should you have any questions about this video, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. If you want to know about how physical therapy and rehabilitation can help with patients who have been diagnosed with stroke, please click on this video here. Thank you very much for watching. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.